Hi students, let us see a theorem related to a dimension of solution space of homogeneous system Ax is equal to 0 and rank of this matrix the dimension of solution space of a homogeneous system Ax equal to 0 is n minus rank of A n minus rank of a where n is equal to number of unknowns or number of variables so dimension of solution space of this homogeneous system is n minus rank of a to prove this theorem we have to consider a linear transformation consider a linear transformation la from rn to rm already we know this linear transformation defined by la of x is equal to ax for all x belongs to kernel of la or null space of la is equal to now calculate this kernel of na or null space of na so kernel of la is nothing but the all x belongs to rn such that la of x is equal to la of x is equal to 0 bar or 0 simply so this is equal to all x belongs to rn such that ax equal to 0 ax equal to 0 so this is equal to just a column vector x1 x2 and so on xn belongs to Rn this is a capital X such that this A into this capital X is equal to 0 and this here this capital X equal to this ordered n tuple is the solution of system of homogeneous linear equations this is a set of linear equations in the n unknowns x1 x2 x1 and if a is an m by n matrix then this is a homogeneous system of m linear equations in n equations and this all x n tuples satisfy this equation so this is nothing but the solution space of solution space of or solution set of solution set of the homogeneous system the homogeneous system a x is equal to 0 so kernel of la is nothing but the solution space of the homogeneous system a x equal to 0 therefore nullity of t therefore nullity of t sorry nullity of la is equal to dimension of nullity of la is nothing but dimension of kernel of la or null space of la this is equal to dimension of kernel of LA is what now? Kernel of LA is the dimension of solution space of of AX equal to 0. By rank nullity theorem by rank nullity theorem nullity theorem we have what we have by rank nullity theorem this nt n of la plus r of la is equal to dimension of domain space what is the domain space is here dimension of rn domain is rn so this implies that this implies that n of la that is nullity of la is equal to what is this nullity of la this is dimension of solution space of solution space of solution space of the homogeneous system ax equal to 0 is plus what is rank of la that is the dimension of range of this linear transformation la so this rank of la is we have already proved that 
this is a rank of a this is a rank of a and this is equal to what is the dimension of rn dimension of rn is l so this implies that dimension of solution space of solution space of ax equal to 0 is equal to n minus rank of a n minus rank of a this is a very simple proof that using this linear transformation LA we obtain that dimension of solution space of ax equal to 0 is n minus rank of a so what is the dimension of solution space of ax equal to 0 means what this solution space is generated by how many vectors this is generated by just n minus rank of a vectors uh, dear students let us see an example let us see the example find the dimension of of solution space of solution space of x1 plus 3x2 minus 4x3 equal to 0 2x1 minus 5x2 plus 7x3 equal to 0 solution we have to find the dimension of solution space of this system of linear equations and these are homogeneous system of linear equations so here n is equal to number of unknowns how many number of unknowns are given n is equal to 3 for this example and the corresponding coefficient matrix is the corresponding coefficient matrix matrix is capital A is equal to 1 3 minus 4 2 minus 5 7 see here dimension of solution space by the previous theorem dimension of solution space of this equation is nothing but the n minus rank of a now we are going to calculate rank of this matrix a now we are going to calculate rank of this matrix a so what is the rank of this matrix a then now we have to calculate or uh, we have to find rank of a rank of a so to find rank of a we have to reduce this matrix to row echelon form and the number of non-zero rows in a row echelon form is rank of a so by first operation by first operation we have to bring zero here so which perform which operation we have to perform so this is just r21 minus 2 r21 minus 2 that is this operation r21 minus 2 means r2 minus 2 r1 r2 minus 2 r1 and net effect is on r2 multiplying first row by minus 2 and adding to second row so a is equivalent to a is equivalent to 1 3 minus 4 0 multiplying this by minus 2 minus 6 minus 5 is minus 11 why we are get 0 here because multiplying this by minus 2 plus 2 is 0 so minus 6 minus 5 minus 11 Mm, minus 2 into minus 4 that is 8 plus 7 is 50 so this is 50 second operation we have to reduce this matrix to row echelon form so what is the second operation minus 1 upon 11 r2 why we have operate taken with this operation we have to bring 1 here so this matrix A is equivalent to 1 3 minus 4 0 1 minus 15 by 11 minus 15 by 11 so how many non zero now this matrix is in row echelon form which is in which is in row echelon form therefore 
rank of this matrix rank of a what is the rank of a then how many non zero rows are there this is first one and this is second one so rank of a is equal to 2 therefore dimension of dimension of solution space of given system is equal to n minus rank of a n minus rank of a so this is equal to n is 3 minus 2 this is equal to 1 so this solution space of this above system of linear equation is 1 that is the solution space of this system is generated by single vector generated by single vector so if you want to check whether this is right or not let us see let us check this one okay let us check whether this system of whether the solution of the given system is generated by single vector or not or dimension of a solution space of this now we have to calculate the actual the solution space this is here this is a this is in rho echelon form this is star so from star the corresponding equations are suppose this is 1 and this is 2 from this we have solving by back substitution so we get uh, this implies that x2 is equal to 15 by l11 x3 so putting in this equation and x3 is a dummy variable here x3 equal to t and t belongs to r so x2 is equal to 15 by l11 so this implies that x2 is equal to 15 by l11 t now x1 is equal to from first equation from equation 1 x1 is equal to so x1 is equal to what we have from equation 1 this is 4x3 Minus 3x2. So this is equal to 4t minus 3 into 15 by x2 is 15 by l1 t. So this is equal to by cross multiplication. What we have? This is 44t minus 45t divided by l1. So this is equal to Minus t by eleven minus t by eleven. So we got a solution. So therefore, therefore x one is equal to minus one of one eleven t. X two is equal to. 15 upon 11t and x3 is equal to x3 is equal to t comma t belongs to r this is a infinitely many solution therefore the solution set yes solution solution space of given system is Capital S is equal to. This is just value of x one, x two, x three, triple. So x one is minus one of one eleven t. X two is fifteen of one eleven t, and x three is t. Such that t belongs to R. Such that t belongs to R. So this is nothing but. This is nothing but. Minus one. By minus one upon eleven, fifteen upon eleven, comma one into t such that t belongs to. R. So dimension of solution space is one. This is generated by single vector. So dimension of which is generated by single vector minus one upon eleven here. So dimension of this 
solution space of the given vector solution space of the given system is 1 so check whether this satisfies or not both equations thank you students